From two canceled productions in the last decade to the series finally taking off, it seems not all the efforts for a Cruel Intentions reboot were in vain. It may have been a long and tumultuous journey, but at least now the destination is in sight. Or something like that. The word on the street is that Amazon has ordered an eight-episode season of the long-running TV series of the 1999 movie. And boy, have we waited long enough. Reboots of popular television shows, including That 70s Show, Saved by the Bell, and others have brought the 1990s back to television. But films from that era have also been revived for television ventures, and Cruel Intentions fans are overjoyed that a TV show based on the cult classic will be available for streaming. Looking forward to it. Freak. Here we go. The Washington, D.C.-based series centers on two cutthroat step-siblings who would stop at nothing to maintain their position. And what's their story, you ask? Well, they belong to the top of their elite college's Greek life hierarchy, and they'll do everything it takes to maintain their power and reputations, a trait that might come in handy when a terrible hazing event threatens the entire Panhellenic system, including courting the daughter of the U.S. vice president. These gals play in the big league, guys, and they're not messing around around. Como Mali. Como so. What was that? I was thanking her. Vietnamese is really a beautiful language, don't you think? Sarah Michelle Geller and Ryan Philippe played step-siblings Catherine Merteuil and Sebastian Valmont in the original Cruel Intentions movie. The production was based on the 18th century novel Dangerous Liaisons. Oh, come on, Catherine. It's too easy. Go get one of those moron friends of yours to do it. I have a reputation to uphold. In a peculiar series of events, they stake their money on Sebastian's ability to woo Annette Hargrove. Yes, the same Annette who's the vice president's daughter at their New York City prep school and played by the iconic Reese Witherspoon. It's like the perfect combination of Mean Girls and your favorite series Gossip Girl. This has been a long time coming, guys, and the plot of Cruel Intentions seems pretty interesting, too. The main character of the movie is Annette, a private prep school girl from New York City who wrote an editorial for Seventeen Men magazine, agreeing with the concept of saving yourself up until marriage. Look, I wouldn't expect a man of your experience to understand my beliefs. What's that supposed to mean? I've been very well informed of your reputation. So the rich step-siblings Catherine and Sebastian make a wager after learning about the beliefs of Annette. The catch is, if Sebastian can charm Annette, Catherine will sleep with him. If he fails, Catherine will automatically get his super expensive vintage Jaguar. But here's where it gets interesting. Catherine, the only thing you're going to be riding is me. Now if you'll excuse me, I have some work to do. Despite the cruel bet, Sebastian starts to fall in love with Annette, which obviously diverts his attention from Catherine's deal. So the three of them soon encounter their own unique obstacles, which finally intertwine in the tragic conclusion of the movie, and the entire production made for a killer girl's night binge. Although the premise of the next series has not been made public, fans are expecting that it will follow the original plotline set by the movie. That brings me to the next question. When will the television series Cruel Intentions premiere? The precise date of the release is yet to be made public, but according to Variety, Amazon ordered the eight-episode series in April 2023, so perhaps we get to feast our eyes sometime in 2024. Now, viewers expected the series to stream on Amazon Prime because Amazon is the distributor that ordered it, but that's not exactly how it may pan out. Cruel Intentions will reportedly be made available through Freevee, Amazon's free streaming service instead. The TV version was previously scheduled to stream on IMDb TV in 2021, with Amazon Studios and Sony Pictures Television serving as producers. But what's happening right now ain't so bad either. That brings me to the inside scoop on who's in the cast of Cruel Intentions. Aside from Sarah, the cast of Cruel Intentions from 1999 has some of the greatest personalities in Hollywood, including former partners Reese Witherspoon and Ryan Philippe, who were married soon after the movie's release. They parted ways in 2006, and their divorce was ultimately finalized 
in 2008, so it's going to be fun to see who fills those shoes now. Let's talk logistics for a bit. How many seasons of Cruel Intentions should we expect, though? Well, we already know it's going to be eight episodes of the show initially. The rest probably depends on how well the series does on air, and then we can get a fair estimate of what we might get. Neil H. Moritz, who produced the original movie, is one of the executive producers of the series, which started its development back in 2021. But that's not all. Phoebe Fisher of Euphoria and Sarah Goodman of the original Gossip Girl are said to have collaborated on writing the pilot, too. This little combination seems pretty apt, given that Cruel Intentions easily falls into the same genre. They fit like a glove, so you know it's going to be good. While there will still be relevant aspects from the original book and movie, Cruel Intentions seeks to change the action a little. That means any changes along the way are to be expected, which makes sense because, let's be honest, the show has seen some pretty messy times, too. Trust me when I say the production has seen a lot of failed attempts. Previously, Geller was ready to reprise her role as Catherine. NBC was ordered to pilot a sequel series in 2016 to showcase a series that would have taken place 16 years after the events of the first movie. Unfortunately, the pilot eventually didn't receive a series order and wasn't picked up by another network, and the actress had a lot of thoughts on that and not the kind you'd expect. Geller said in October of last year that she was grateful the NBC version was shelved. She told the New York Times that she has nothing against NBC, but Cruel Intentions is supposed to be streaming directly. So when she was on set, she knew that this isn't working on the very first day. According to her, it's just not a network show. It's not the Cruel Intentions she knows if it's a network program. So when it didn't take off, the actress felt thankful. Well, you know what? If the cast didn't approve, I'm pretty sure the audience wouldn't have either. But that wasn't the only attempt either. Fox tried a prequel series dubbed Manchester Prep in 1999 before NBC did. That project was abandoned before it could premiere too. But three of the created episodes were used to make the 2001 direct-to-video movie Cruel Intentions 2. So at least their hard work didn't completely go to waste. But the thing is, not everyone has high hopes for this production. This is hardly the first time a movie has been adapted into a show. As everyone else has noted, this comes after several unsuccessful attempts to revive the iconic movie with Sarah Michelle Gellar as a brunette, as well as Ryan Philippe and Reese Witherspoon. But perhaps that many failed attempts means the obvious, that a reboot is not necessary. After all, attempts by corporations to reproduce flawless ratings frequently fail. We all witness what went down with the Gossip Girl revival, as well as the attempted murder of Heathers, the cancellation of Degrassi, and the abhorrent Gem and the Holograms. Even the truly wonderful television show High Fidelity was abruptly discontinued. If you think about it, Cobra Kai is the sole winner in this area that comes to mind right now. Perhaps the new Cruel Intentions will also be successful, but most likely not. And while everyone's free to watch it or not watch it, but do we really need to recycle old storylines that are perfectly good left alone? I don't know about you guys, but it might just be smart to keep your copy of the original DVD. What do you think? That's a wrap on the new Cruel Intentions TV series.